We're now going to look at emptying the ash container. It's important to do this regularly because ash is a superb insulator. So if you've got a layer of ash in the bottom of the insert, what we're going to find is that the package will only burn from above and not all the way around, which makes the whole unit less efficient, takes more energy and is bad all around. So empty it regularly, say after every 50 uses. Also ensure that the unit is cold so you don't burn yourself. And we just do this by just removing the front cover. I'm going to take out the ash container. You'll hear the unit bleep. That'll indicate that the ash container is out of position. Just another safety feature built into Cinderella as that will inhibit any heating. Take out the insert and what you'll find is the ash lying in the bottom and some crystals around the outside. We can dispose of the ash into household waste and with the crystals on the outside we just fill that with hot soapy water and leave for about 15 to 30 minutes. After 30 to 50 minutes just push the uh, board around, throw it away and using a scrubbing brush just go through and ensure it's all nice and clean inside. Put the insert back into the container and then if you wish you can do a steam clean. It's worth doing this every couple of months. You just get a, um, a hot water from the kettle, put it in there about a pint or two pints of water, replace it and the cover Then we just lift the lid, put it down, you can hear the fan start, and just put it through a burn cycle. What will happen now, the water inside the insert will now get superheated, and that superheated steam will go through the catalytic converter, through the fan, and basically clean everything. Well worth doing. The secret of the Cinderella is the, catal is the catalytic converter. The same as that which you have in your car, it's made of platinum and palladium, it's quite expensive so it's really important to keep it in good nick. With the Cinderella Comfort and Freedom, there are videos to show that. With the Cinderella Travel, it's even easier. You can take out the unit quite simply, and if you find that it's covered in um, a fine film of dust, that's often from toilet paper, and you may see particles and soots and other things to block the corrugated surface in there. It's very very easy to clean. You just put this under a tap, pour water through there and give it a slush round until it runs clear and you can see it looking like that. Also with the cover that goes over the, the catalytic converter, again you may see it scorched and with bits of soot in, inside there. Again you can use a, an old toothbrush or something and scrub round and then put it back in situ. Also the exhaust fan, that can gather soot after several months and if you need to clean it again get an old toothbrush and just push it round. You can rinse water through. It's important though to avoid getting the motor wet so keep it all on from this side. And you can use a toothbrush just to brush between the blades and get it all as new again. It's surprising how good these things turn up. You can really clean them and get them back sparkling just like new very, very easily. Then you just refit them all and go through the steam cleaning process. It's important to clean the flue once or twice a year depending on use. And to do that, we use a flue brush. We've got a three inch one like we have here, which is used with the Cinderella Travel. But if you've got a Comfort or a Freedom, they have a four inch flue and you need to clean the flues with a four inch brush. With the travel, this is what you'll have on top of your van or your boat and you just take off the cap and using your three inch brush just push it down all the way down to the unit below. It's a good idea if you've got the exhaust fan off 
and you put a little bag underneath or somebody can hold something underneath, then anything that comes through is going to get caught and not make a mess inside your vehicle or your boat. Very, very simple, very effective, but only it's doing about once or twice a year. If you're needing it to do more than that, or if it's very, very dirty inside, then there must be something wrong with the installation and just check the airways of the air coming into the boat. Or if you've got any doubts, just get in touch and I'll have a word.